without regular sex women risk mental disorder. A psychiatrist, Dr. Maimuna Kadiri on Saturday advised married women to have regular sex with their spouses in order to prevent depression and gain happiness. Depression is a common mental disorder that causes people to experience depressed moods, loss of interest or pleasure, feelings of guilt or low self-worth, disturbed sleep or appetite, low energy, and poor concentration. Kadiri the medical director of Pinnacle Medical Services gave the advice in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Lagos. Pinnacle is a health and wellness center for psychological, behavioral, and mental health-related issues. According to her, sex is not just to nourish a woman's body, but it is also beneficial to her mental health. As women, there is a need for us to make our spouses our best friends if we want to be mentally healthy. Studies have shown that women who have more active sex and in long-term relationships were less likely to be depressed than women who went without sex. So, more sex is important and essential. It is a remedy to curing women from having persistent headaches. Low sexual drive, which leads to depression, should be looked into. A woman can be depressed when that sexual drive that she used to have is no more there. Frequent active sex can play good roles toward women's sense of well-being and quality of life, Kadiri said. She explained that sex was not just for procreation and having children, adding that it could create bonding, good companionship, and sound sleep. Kadiri, popularly called Celebrity Shrink, urged women dealing with depression to frequently indulge in sex, while boosting their self-esteem. She also advised women who are overweight to also involve in active sex, saying doing so will boost endorphins which are happy hormones. The happy hormones will make them lose some calories as well as sleep better. Orgasms trigger the release of endorphins which are happy hormones secreted by the brain that act as effective painkillers, she said. She added that sex was not only beneficial to men but especially to women because it was capable of freeing them from stress. Sex accordingly. For married ones only. A lot of people don't associate sex with God, they associate it with Satan and darkness as if sex is not holy. The holy book is explicit when it comes to sex. Sex is holy within marriage, and there is no prescribed style. Nowhere in the holy books does it say that a particular position is the only sexual style. Not discussing sex in a relationship leads to divorce. I have counseled women who've complained, my husband treats me as if I were his sister. There was one who told me, I am tired of getting sex fortnightly, like a salary. I told her she was lucky to be getting sex fortnightly, since some wives only get it on big days like elections and holidays. Many husbands leave their wives to seek sexual pleasures in Hillbrow. Have you ever asked yourself what those women have that you don't? Wives have become very frigid and even sleep with their panties. If you're a married woman, you should sleep naked and let your bum touch your husband. Today you find men going out of their way to get a glimpse of a vagina. They page through magazines and even go to lingerie departments in stores hoping to see what's hidden under panties because their wives hide it from them. Marriage is about being free with your body in front of your partner, that's why God made marriage halal and called our wives, our blanket and the holy prophet saw said marriage is half of Dean. A woman should parade naked and do some modeling to tempt her husband. There are many married women who don't know what their husband's penises look like. She only feels it when he enters her. They've never touched it, let alone seen it, because the husband switches off the lights before undressing. A penis is a wife's toy, she is supposed to play with it. I blame couples for not making time for sex and complaining about being tired after a day's work. You find many couples who've been sexually starved for years. Allah created sex for procreation and also for pleasure. You can't marry and not have a good time in bed. Who said you can only have sex at night? 
Hashtag BlissLoeSaloNG. Why can't you drive home during lunch and have a quickie with your wife? We're all equal in sex, it's not just about a woman satisfying a man. You have to satisfy each other. Have you ever seen a woman who has been satisfied? Have you noticed how she glows and becomes energetic? May Almighty God bless you. This is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Once you read this you have to keep it going. Age has nothing to do with sex. The older you are the more you should enjoy it but do it in God's way. Make sure your spouse reads this. Also, send it to all your married friends, grandmas and grandpas send it to your married children. You may just be saving a marriage from divorce. Let love and sex fill our marriage. Peace be unto your marriage. Amen. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media. Download the BG Media app today or visit barglobal.net for more podcasts. Thank you.